मेंडल्स लॉ ऑफ सेग्रीगेशन मेंडल्स लॉ ऑफ सेग्रीगेशन स्टेट्स डेट ड्यूरिंग द प्रोसेस ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ गैमीट्स टू अलील्स फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर ट्रेट दे सेपरेट फ्रॉम ईच अदर ड्यूरिंग द प्रोसेस ऑफ गैमिटोजेनिसिस वाइल ड्यूरिंग द प्रोसेस ऑफ फर्टिलाइजेशन द सेपरेटेड गैमीट्स दे रीयूनाइट विद ईच अदर सो दिस इज द हाइपोथिस और द समरी ऑफ मैंडल लॉ ऑफ सेग्रीगेशन मीन्स ड्यूरिंग द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द गैमीट्स दे सेपरेट फ्रॉम ड्यूरिंग द फॉर्मेशन of the gametes alleles separate from each other and during the process of fertilization the gametes they reunite and produce the new genotype and the new phenotype if we take the example about the mendel's law of segregation during a uh, during a cross gametes of each plant they segregate first then these gametes they combine with each other the resulting phenotype will be as a result of the union of the new gametes here is the example a one plant is producing purple color and one plant is producing white color flowers these plants they will produce the gametes this plant will produce gamete capital p and capital p while the second plant which is producing white color flowers it will produce small p gametes and small p gametes so this is the first step that during the process of gametogenesis the gametes they will separate from each other but as a result of fertilization these gametes they will join with each other so here will be capital p and small p all the plants that will be produced of f1 generation they will have they will be heterozygous one capital p and there will be one small p so this is the process of law of segregation that in case of law of segregation uh, during the gametogenesis gametes first they separate from each other and at the process of fertilization they unite with each other if we take another example to explain the law of segregation here is the second example in this case if we take that the plants they are producing a uh, yellow color and the, uh, and the uh, yellow color seeds and the second type of the plants they are producing green seeds here are the yellow seeds and green seeds during gamete formation so here is the gamete formation during the gamete formation the alleles which were uh, uh, capital y and capital y they will be separated and here is gamete 1 and here is gamete 2 so in both the plants the gametes they will be separated from each other during the process of gametogenesis during the fertilization of the gametes both the gametes they will join with each other during the process of fertilization and as a result the plants which will be produced f1 plants they will have yellow color so at the end the gametes they will unite with each other so if we see the modern concept based on the law of segregation here we can see that the smooth uh, seeds uh, they have two alleles one capital s and capital s during the formation of gametogenesis both the alleles they will separate from each other in parent number 1 and same will be in case of parent 2 where seeds they are wrinkle in shape and their gametes will be separate from each other as small s and small s so this is the process of gametogenesis where the gametes they are separated from each other and the genes they are present on the chromosomes now when 
they will unite during the F1 generation. Here is the capital S and this is the second uh, capital S, a, this chromosome which is present and this chromosome. So they will unite with each other during the process of fertilization. Law of segregation, if we conclude uh, the law of segregation, law of segregation states that every gene has two alleles. Uh, gene uh, encodes for a trait. These two alleles, they separate from each other during the process of gametogenesis or during the process of gamete formation and the alleles, they unite with each other during the process of fertilization. So this is the summary of law of segregation.